and they are here to minister to us. Please show your love. Put your hands together for them as they come up stage. Wow. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful ministration. Oh, I think we can put our hands together one more time for the choir. 
hymns choir and I uh, believe that the choir is also here to minister. Shall we rise to our feet? There's excitement in the air and let's receive the choir to minister to us. There's excitement in the air. Can't you feel it in your soul? God is moving by his grace. Yes, he's moving in this place. Let's put our hands together. Let's let join him them. Take control and rejoice in him today. There's excitement. There's excitement in the air. There's excitement in the air. Can't you feel it in your soul? up your offering and let's pray take out a good offering let's pray over it hallelujah all right god bless you very good offering let's pray father we want to bless you so much this morning thank you for another opportunity to be in your house what joy what a blessing it is Lord, we ask, oh God, as your people give, may we be blessed in our giving. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Amen.
Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Therefore, we thank the Lord for a beautiful morning. Amen. Are you blessed to be here? Wonderful. Well, it's a good day and God has been gracious to us. Amen. I believe that the year is taking off and um, we are moving little by little slowly into God's purpose for our lives. How many of you are expecting good things this year? Same right, expecting good things this year. You must expect good things from God. Do you understand? Expect it. Don't expect to have an accident this year. Don't expect to die this year. Don't expect to get into trouble. Expect God to bless your life. Expect to do well this year. Spiritually in every area of your life. Believe it, say amen. Lift your right hand and say, I'm expecting good things. Say, I'm expecting to do well this year. Hallelujah. Well, it's a good day, amen. And I'm expecting the word of God to, uh, to touch your heart. Put your hand on your chest and say, I'm expecting the word of God to affect my life this morning. Say, I'm ready to receive the word of God. And because I'm ready, I know God's word will affect my life. Hallelujah. Now, if you're really ready, jump to your feet and receive the bishop to minister the word of the Lord to us today. Come on. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for today. Thank you for the blessing of coming to your house this morning to receive of your word. Lord, we ask that you guide us by the Holy Spirit. Bless our lives. We thank you in the name of Jesus. Amen. You may be seated. This morning, I want to give you something that can help you through the year 2012 in your personal life. Amen. And it is called the Art of Leadership. Can I have some copies of the Art of Leadership available inside the church? So that if somebody wants to get a copy, I'm sharing from page, uh, from chapter 7. Decide to become one of the few good leaders in this world. Amen. All right. Now, in uh, First Timothy chapter four, can I? Can we all turn to First Timothy chapter four? The art of leadership. First Timothy chapter four. Verse number six. The art of leadership. Right? What does it say? If thou put the brethren in remembrance of these things, thou shalt be a good minister of Jesus Christ. Amen. Nourished up in the words of faith and of good doctrine, wherein thou hast um, attained. Amen. Now, everybody say good and bad. There are good things, good versions of everything and bad versions. Okay? Now, in terms of people who can lead, right, we have people who are good at it and there are people that are not good at it. So Paul, Timothy, Paul was telling Timothy, he was telling him, if you do these things, okay, you will be a good version of a minister. All right? So with everything, you can have a good version and then a bad version of it. Are you there? How many understand what I'm talking about? So God is showing us 
in his holy word that there are things we can do to become a good version of being a, of, of a leader. All right? Now, uh, one of the things that we need as individuals, right, is to be able to be a leader of human beings. Amen. Now, the first human being will be yourself and then others will follow after, right? The best way I can describe 